Uh, this is Dr. Shen from San Francisco, and the question um, for Dr. Shen that we have is, are there any issues that would make thyroidectomy not a good option uh, for me for my Graves' disease? So uh, basically, I think the same standards apply as for decision making with any patient being planned for or considered for an operation, uh, even an operation that's considered as small as something as a thyroidectomy. I think anyone with significant medical problems, heart problems, lung problems, kidney problems, etc., who would not be able to withstand anesthesia and not able to be uh, to, under, to withstand the stress of the operation. I think that would be something that you just kind of have to very much uh, start at the beginning. Certainly someone who's floridly in the middle of hyperthyroid crisis or thyroid storm, something of that nature, that would not be a good candidate for operation. After that, it gets into more subtle things, and you do have to be very, very upfront in describing to patients the actual experience of what it's like to undergo the operation and what it's like to recover from it. And I think there are some patients where they have perhaps unrealistic or inaccurate expectations of what that experience is going to be like on both ends, either that it's going to be much more severe than they, or they think it's going to be much more severe than it actually is, or they think it's just, hey, go in and get your operation and then you're instantly cured and everything else is better after that. So you do have to take it on an individual basis, but you have to make sure to get details from your surgeon about what the process is going to be like and what the experience is going to be like.